Edgy here, and I'm with Mr. Comics 89, and we both have full runs of Amazing Spider-Man, and I want you to enjoy this video. Hey everyone, Mr. Comics 89 here, and this is my unboxing. As you guys know if you're watching this, I have worked very hard to complete my amazing Spider-Man collection, you know, from issue one, you know, that came out behind me here, all the way up to the current issues of ASM that come out every two, three weeks, however it, you know, it comes out. So the only thing I have not done, and I've gotten at least one cover of every single issue, you know, whether it's a variant or the A cover, I've gotten every single cover of Amazing Spider-Man, all 900 and what is it, five issues now? So, but the only thing I haven't completed in my collection is annuals. I didn't, I, I thought, I mean, I narrowed my focus down originally to ASM, and I would chase annuals as I could get them. But, uh, I decided recently here I was going to take a big bite out of those annuals. So I, cre I put together the entire list of annuals, which is much shorter than I thought it'd be for some reason. Who knows? And... Then I, one day, you know, a couple, couple uh, last week here, actually, I think it was on Monday, another side effect of being recovering from my um, hernia surgery here is if you get too bored, you buy things. And uh, I went on mycomshop.com and got a lot of annuals. I could have gotten one more from them, but I wanted that particular book to be in higher grade so I ordered it separately from another place. So, stupid bug. Anyway, so before I open up these annuals here, I'm gonna open up this. Should be a card that I got. Oh, I guess they put uh, a couple of baseball player cards on either side to protect it. Don't know what good, uh, couple of worthless baseball player cards would do to protect it, but, uh, here she is. I got my Amazing Spider-Man 129 signed by Jerry Conway, but what I really wanted after I started getting some Marvel ca trading cards was to get a ASM graded to go with it. it. Won't be signed, but it'll still be cool to have this one graded at one point. Should be in relatively high grade, I think, but what do I know about grading cards? Less than nothing. All right. So let's get down to this. Uh, All right. This is a box that's actually there, pretty good. All right. So that's what I got. <laughs> Big pile of books. So I think I got uh, 15. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15 was the one issue, and uh, I'm not going to say it, because that's going to be in another video, but comment down below, um, comment down below, assuming it's not out yet, uh, what you think it is, you can might be able to guess what it is by the, it's lack of presence here, alright, here we go. So I got, and this all came from mycomshop.com. I got king size annual, 
Amazing Spider-Man number 11. VG condition, they said. Of course, the last time I got an 8.0 from them, I came back CG, uh, CBC graded 8.5, so. It's not, it's not a high grade. I don't need perfect grade books. I mean, it's gonna stay in my collection in this good shape, so. They're gonna be preserved with me. So, very cool. All right, ASM Annual 135. This is one of these, ultimately, the biggest one is there is the volume one of ASM Annuals, then it's like, it jumps all around. It's weird. You know, like one annual had like one book in it with three covers, I think. I can't remember. But this would be around from the 530s with jackpot. Amazing Spider-Man annual. <laughs> um, I don't know which one this is because they changed. They changed the numbering. We think we think the numbering system sucks now and all that. Before they did the only when they did the re reboots and all that. Before they start putting legacy numbers on there, how does it suck for me when they why would they do this? Is this this by an annual number nineteen ninety six? This is one of the cooler covers. I honestly think I like the dual identity and all that we see here. Just very, very cool. I like this annual a lot. I really do. All right, another annual number one that I did here, I need, but again, I'm not 100% sure where these fall into the numbering. And again, my numbering system is not here with me, but this is like volume four, number one, or volume three of annual. And it's the only one there, I think. I don't know, again, one of each is the goal. And this is my checklist to get one of each. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 2001. So. I recently saw what the first episode of the 2003 uh, Spider-Man series on Disney Plus appeared there. All I have to say is, oh, thank God. I hate it. I hated it. I hated it so much. The animated graphics or I mean I, I'm not sure if an animated things were that bad back then in 2003 but it sucked like hell it was a horrible it was video game graphics bad to me bad video game graphics to me it just sucked you know just it sucked how can the Spider-Man the 90s how can Spider-Man the animated series from the 90s be so much better than the 2003 animated series animated series I mean I realize nostalgia glasses you know let me get them off here real second but seriously they suck they, they compare it suck compared to the 90s show I get you probably don't understand a word if I'm confusing you guys I apologize if I'm barely making sense to my own damn mind <laughs> uh. all I do is I'm trying not to get too worked up here because Yesterday and the day before, I exerted myself just slightly more than I should have in my recovery, and as a result, I was in a little bit of pain the, uh, the end, at the end of the day. So I'm I'm going back to strict laziness, other than the fact that I'm doing the video from my office. I can sit in my chair for a little bit. Amazing Spider-Man! Stupid bug. Uh, annual 1999, grand, giant size, spectacular. So very cool. All right. Uh, annual number 36, fine condition. I've been reading the conditions. I apologize. This is around. I'm guessing around the time that they undid the marriage, which is stupid in my opinion. Uh, that one was in fine condition. Fine condition. Again, I don't need them spectacular. A little bit of staining or whatnot, some dents, but they're fine. They're in good shapes, ultimately. Near mint, but then again, a lot of these are not that expensive. Weren't that expensive. 
VF. But that looks better than a VF. What do I know? What do I know? Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 39. I kind of like the homage to, you know, Secret Wars number 8 there and all that stuff. Looks like Spider-Man's fading into the black and gray and the sketch down to nothing. So it's very interesting. Race from existence and out of time. Interesting. <clears throat> King size special, I think. Yeah, Ama uh, Amazing Spider-Man annual number eight. And I'm gonna guess because number 12 was a reprint of ASM 129 that this is a reprint of ASM number 46, the first appearance of the Shocker. Cool. Uh, good condition, which would be a 2.0. Again, this has to be a little higher than a 2.0, maybe a 2.5, but a 3. But who knows? ASM annual number 37. I was positive I had this book, but I, it turns out I didn't. I gave it to my son. And then I realized, I, re I realized to complete my collection, I needed it back. So instead of stealing it <laughs> or permanently borrowing, I bought another one. ASM Annual number 42. I think this is last year's annual. Yeah, or no, 2017. Fifth series. Alex Ross artwork, I believe. I'm not sure. ASM annual number 20 in a VG condition. Key, but I can't remember what this key was for. A couple of times I literally almost bought this book. A couple of times. But, uh, never did, and then realized I need it for the annual, and never, then never saw it again until I bought it. Uh, the Iron Man of 2020. Hopefully he doesn't bring COVID with him. <laughs> we don't need another variant. Uh, I'll do that one last because I love the artwork. Amazing Spider-Man, King Size Annual number 14. Another key. But again, can't remember. Don't have my theme notes in front of me. And last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 28 in a VF. But this seriously looks like Bagley artwork. Thought I heard something. But I just like that Carnage Spider-Man cover. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And that's it. 14 in that package from my comic shop. I could have bought the last, the 15th there for 30 bucks or 35 bucks in the <laughs> lowest condition that was there. But I didn't want the lowest condition for that book. Especially with the, for, especially with it, this character's first appearance and, it, and uh, they're making their appearance in an upcoming movie after already being in a Disney Plus show. So, if you can't guess it by now, someone should uh, throw some cold water over you, because uh, I basically spilled it out. <laughs> but I'm not going to, just in case there are people out there who haven't been able to guess and look forward to the surprise. But that's it. 14 issues of the 15. Uh, those 14 cost me 118. So... 118 bucks, I basically narrowed down my ASM annuals. I need to complete a full run of Amazing Spider-Man, including the annuals. My annuals left with number, I think, four or five. I have one, and uh, but I need a few more. One of which, one of which of those being ASM annual number six, which reprints 
ASM annual number one, first appearance of the Sinister Six. <laughs> Excuse me, so I look forward to getting the rest of those in my collection. So I'm assuming by this time next year, honestly, um, I will have a complete run of Amazing Spider-Man, including the annuals, which will be fun to say. To own every single issue of Amazing Spider-Man ever published. Not every single issue he ever appeared in, because, God, I don't know if I could afford that even if I won a billion dollars in a lottery. <laughs> Although, if I, won a, if I won a billion dollars in a lottery, first thing I'm doing is buying the highest grade AF-15 out there. Then the Action Comics number one. And after spending $20 million, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, the dreams you have when you win the lottery, right? Uh, I almost have to turn that money over to someone else in my family because, God, I'd spend it, most of it on comic books. I know I would. After moving someplace, you know, my wife wants to move back down to Texas, you know, where she was born and raised until she was nine and came to Colorado. Against her will, as she likes to say. <laughs> uh, but uh, one of these days, I'm sure we'll get back down to, we'll get down to Texas for her and... Uh, she can be happy again, and I can start being miserable for the next 20 years. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding about Texas, you know, it's, it's a, it's, the east side of Texas is a beautiful place to live. I don't want to live in the west side of Texas. If I want the west side of Texas, I could stay where I am in a more desert-like environment. If I'm going down to Texas, I want the greener part of Texas. You know, the one that's closer to the Mississippi River. But, uh, anyway. I am rambling at this point. I've had a good day, you know. Finished watching Amazing Spider- not Amazing spider -Man. I finished watching Superman and Lois Season 2 and all that. Better than Season 1. I, I definitely liked it a lot. Look forward to a Season 3 when I believe it comes out. But, uh... Look forward to the show. Anyway! Right at this point. Take care, everyone. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Tune in whenever it is. Happy collecting.